We're getting market on south. We're getting market on south. It's also one o'clock in the afternoon. And we really only get market on south after we've been to the doctor. So we're gonna say it now. Mm -hmm. We're so glad you're here with the Brookhart Project. Yes, we daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope that you will come back tomorrow. And after this intro, you're gonna see us eat lunch. But we'd like to tell you guys first that we do have a baby update mm -hmm. that is a bit sensitive. Yes. Um, so if you have children around and you don't want to see ultrasounds or hear talk about um, medical Would you things. Do you call it a complication? Yes. A complication. 100% is a complication. Um, then we'll put, I'll put a date or I'll put a time in here for when we'll stop talking about it um, and when we have lunch. Yeah. If you want Here we are, just a walking down the street, saying Dixie Dharma, Orlando, Florida. Ooh, child. Garlic roasted, mac and cheese, vegan. Here's my jackfruit, right? Cause that's mm -hmm. my, my hot toddy right there, aka cheese homies. Oh. And Sarah's fried pickle pole boy. <laughs> and show them what else you got. What else you got? Oh, Coca-Cola. Let's eat, starving. So a little update about what's been going on. We've actually been, had, Sarah's been having some symptoms and, and um, what's the word we just said? Complications. Complication symptoms since so, last Friday. Yeah, so Friday I just had some bleeding and cramping and then it just continued on through the weekend. I mean, you can kind of tell it was a much more relaxed Chicago trip. Um, still had a good time, but once that started happening, my nurses were not super worried, and they just said stay hydrated and stay off your feet. Well, last night, it um, like progressed. It got worse. Cramps yeah. got more intense, a little bit more bleeding. Yeah, and so we decided to go to our doctor this morning. They got us in super fast, and we had an ultrasound two weeks earlier than we were supposed to. Oh, great news. We mm -hmm. heard the heartbeat, yeah. so that was awesome. Yeah, we, we didn't film it. It was such, it was like, an overwhelming visit. Yeah. Um, it all happened very fast. Yeah. It was good. We heard the heartbeat. It was at an awesome rate for yes. where we are. But growing, growing, the perfect yeah. size. Like it's 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 the baby's yeah, growing. Yeah, the baby is is measuring right where exactly it be. where it should be. Um, however, the ultrasound did show that part of the sac that the baby is in is detached from my uterus. About 40 to 50 percent of it. Yeah, and so there's a blood clot that's formed in between, um, in between the sac and the lining. And so basically, I am on rest. Basically, it's bed rest. They yeah. didn't use the term bed rest. They gave us all the restrictions, which was basically bed rest. Yes. And so basically, we upped my medicine, the Dub progesterone that I'm on. Doubled it. Um, which is great. That helps the lining grow, but that the big thing is that the clot has to solidify, go move. away, move, get out of the way so that the sac can reattach. Um, it's something that happens common in IVF patients, like one in three. Mm -hmm. um, however, they still said that there is like a 50-50 shot that it reattaches. And it, it has to reattach. So it has to reattach. It has to reattach. And so, so those are, those, it was a scary, a scary number to hear. Um, yeah, after all the fighting we've already been doing to hear that, mm -hmm. you know, we know all of our kids are going to be super strong and they're fighters. We did not think that our, one of our children would have to prove that so early. So. And so they were hopeful, but they, you could tell that they are worried. Yeah, they were being serious. They were right, hopeful, but yeah. they were being realistic of what's going on. Yeah. So basically, we are going to take this super, super seriously. We, we were clear to do some things. Um, but basically not a lot of walking in heat, which is like our favorite almost, thing to do. Almost no walking in heat. Yeah. But, well, like, I think the only walking in heat that they would be okay with is like, is like nighttime. Right. Like, um, Sarah's not going to be out in the sunlight. Yeah. She can't lift more than 10 pounds. Be super careful going up and down stairs. They basically acted like if you were 100 years old going up and down stairs. Like yeah. no jostling on the body. They were even nervous about her taking Eve out with Eve like... Pulling. pulling so like because she's, she's gonna, heavier than 10 pounds like Eve's not a big dog Sarah's gonna not take her out anymore and I'll be strictly taking care yeah. of taking Eve out um I feel much better today 
than I did yesterday. Yes. I do, I'm still having the symptoms, like that doesn't just stop because we talked to the doctor. Um, but again, just doing everything that they said, taking it super easy. Um, the awesome part is that the heart rate was strong mm -hmm. and that helps in our favor. Yeah. And it is more attached than it is not attached. Yes. Which is also good. So we're being positive. You guys know us. Yeah. We always choose to be positive even yeah. if um, things are scary. So. Yeah. But we're always trying to be as realistic and honest with you guys. Yeah. So we want to let you guys know because we're going to take it easy. The next, mm -hmm. like our next appointment is in two weeks. So we're keeping our fingers crossed that everything will be looking progressing better, that we'll hopefully see some reattachment there. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to spend some nights in, we're going to skip some vlog days, we're going to get videos posted late, um, yeah. not as consistent as we typically have been for the past two yeah. years because this is what we got to do. We got to take care of our little nugget. Yeah. And it's really great that I work from home mm -hmm. and that I'm really, like, I will really be able to take it easy. Um, Obviously, we are active people. We like to be out and about. So, um, but we're taking this very yeah. seriously. And our doctor said, doctors and nursing staff are beyond super educated and smart. I just went out today looking at our doctor's things that he taught at Harvard for a year. Yeah. Like he's 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 very well respected in the in the infertility community of doctors and the medical staff. So even he even mentioned he's like he knows about Jenna's wedding next month with uh, with Thanksgiving time and everything. And he's like not signing out travel at all but like we're gonna see how things progress to see what's the best way and less stressful in Sarah's body and he was even like when you're in Chicago like if things did get really bad you wouldn't necessarily had to have you could have gone to the ER he's like but I've got close friends that I trust in the community of this field of study that are in Chicago so he's like yeah. if you ever traveling anywhere and we okay you to travel and you never feel you ever feel weird or you just want to get checked out and you're not here in Orlando we've got friends across the country yeah. so the the tough part about this is that there's no reason. Like yeah. they li they said that it's just something with IVF. It happens in non IVF patients as well. Um, just part but of they pregnancy. said don't blame you going on your trip. Don't blame anything. There's nothing. There's nothing that, that they caused this. To cause. Um, it just is what it is, and now we gotta fix it. Are we gonna show our little ultrasound photo? Yeah, because we can show it. The end of this, like. We're being, it is scary. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very frightening yeah. to get told 50-50. Um, Especially at six weeks and five days. Yeah. The baby's so, so tiny. S little squinchy blop of bloop. Yeah, every, all of the apps say like a <laughs> tadpole. Like it. And we got to see our tadpole. And we have pictures yeah. we got to, we, we got to show you. And we heard the heartbeat. Yeah. We're trying to stay positive with, we heard our baby's heartbeat today. A yeah. strong, good heartbeat. He's going to eat the <laughs> ultrasound photo. And... We got to see our little bean sprout. Yeah. So, and sure. if our baby is anything like us, and I know they're gonna be, mm -hmm. it's got it. Yeah, tough. But we would like a couple <laughs> extra prayers and good thoughts. And we're, you know, we're sharing this because we are so um, open with this uh, process yeah. the whole time. Um, but you guys have also always kicked butt when it comes to being super supportive being of so us. So supportive. So, we got through IVF. We got good news today. You know, we could have not gotten good news today. There's no reason we can't get good news again. Right. Look at our little bean sprout. There it is. And so the part above the little baby is that pesky blood clot. This is part of the sac that's not attached. It's darker because it's the blood clot. It, that's got to move. And then this would attach to the wall and be the same blackness that this is. So that's our little baby. There's a better view. Right there, a little bean sprout. Different view there. And there's the heartbeat tracker. Boom, 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 yeah, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's really cool. So, that's a little update. I don't, we're gonna move our TV, because we don't have our couch yet. We're gonna yeah. move our TV into our bedroom to do and it maybe just like- a couch plan. Maybe game plan a couch plan, maybe this weekend. Um, but that's what's going on, so, thanks for following along with us and all support and during this, too. Yeah. You guys are the best. Is this the end of the vlog, or are we gonna vlog today? Um, let's try to vlog tonight. Okay. I don't think Sarah and I have literally had, <clears throat> since our first apartment, is this our fourth or fifth apartment? Four. Fourth. It's our fourth apartment. We have not had a TV regularly in our room since our first apartment. And it was much smaller than this TV. But, circumstantially, we're doing it. Plus, what city is that? Let me know down below because I've never been able to figure it's it out. Too bad. I don't think it's Dubai. It doesn't look very Dubai-ish. 
All right, Sarah's set up in the room. We got queer eye going on for tonight, but I'm gonna get dinner because we're doing a two meal, eat out both meals day. And we went out last night. Well, we're gonna go grocery shopping very soon, but I think it warrants our food therapy. So I'm gonna go to Chipotle, I have to go to Walgreens and pick up a few things, and then I'll be back and we're just gonna relax. But Sarah requested a queer eye and a big TV. It's his prime. Did he really come into his Jonathan-ness in season four? So we got Sarah the Jonathan Van Ness's autobiography, and so she was reading it while she was in Chicago. It's a Chipotle Express. Yeah, yeah. And I got Sarah Guac for tomorrow, during the day. Wow, look at this burrito bowl. I used to never get beans and now I get double beans. And all the salsas and fajita peppers and this is gonna be very interesting with this little girl. Here's my massive burrito. I always get way too many spicy things and get it way too packed and then it's a big hot, hot mess. But. Looking delicious. I did something blasphemous. Two seconds later. Peter finished his burrito. In two seconds. I have always been an advocate. My hands are cold. Of um, like how do people not finish their burrito bowls? Um. I couldn't finish it. I've been, I mean we talked about it before, I'm just more so like into smaller meals. She's also, is these winces right here? Sarah will go through periods, this is what we've been going through since Friday, is like going through periods of like cramping and like it'll intensify and then it'll go away. Like a, like a turn of a just as fast as it comes, it goes. So I'm just having a moment, but I'm all right. Yeah. I'm gonna drink some water. I think that that helps the cramping the most. Stay hydrated, yeah. all of it. Mm -hmm. Six gallons of water a day. <laughs> Oh, did I disturb you? Are you ready for bed, little girl? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. So tired. It's been a long day. I want to be around people that do things. I don't want to be around people anymore that judge or talk about what people do. I want to be around people that dream and support and do things. Amy Poehler. We've been watching the Great British Baking Show. Yes. And so we're gonna sign off because we'll probably fall asleep watching it. Yeah, we've only were one episode and they're long. Yeah, they are long. But, um. What I've, a day. What? Yeah. What a day is right. But we know we've had these kinds of days before. Not as, I'd say, not as frightening. There's a lot but more. Not as exciting either. On the cause... line. But, like Sarah said, a lot more exciting. Yeah. We're focusing on that heartbeat we heard. <laughs> and to be safe, the sizing is good too. Yeah, the sizing is good. Right on, it's right on track. And then yeah. I hear that whoa, 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 whoa. It was <laughs> over and over in my head. So yeah, that's cool. our healthy baby's cooking. We just got to make sure we do everything right. Yes. And then we can. Yes. And tomorrow, I think I'm going to HHN. That's the plan. That's the plan. Yeah. You versus so tired. We have to sign off. Good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>